Hey everybody, welcome to the Empty Nest Teacher channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have seen a video or two here before, thank you so much for coming back. We don't take anybody for granted. Um, well, as you can see in the title of this video, I have made it <laughs> to my first hundredth day of school. Okay, I've made it to my first hundredth day of school. Um, you know, I know a lot of people make um, a big deal about it and get shirts and all that type of stuff. Um, maybe I will be in a better headspace, like to, you know, celebrate it like that next year. <laughs> um, but this year, I'm just scrambling to try to get some things done. Um, multiple things that are due around the same time, which is um, this week. Um, you know, I didn't really think about it until I was literally walking out of the building a few minutes ago. Um, it's almost six o'clock. Um, today is Wednesday. Um, I was getting ready to say September. <laughs> today is, is Wednesday, February 16th. Okay, so I just walked out of my building. Um, of course, I used to, at the beginning, used to be in my building first quarter-ish. Um, you know, till 6.30. Then, um, probably around second quarter, you know, I started leaving. Um, one, because toward the end of first quarter, um, we had to start taking our classes, and our classes um, start um, 4.45. The current class starts at 4.45. Um, 5 o'clock. Um, so, you know, and, and the classes last till like 8, 8.15. So I um, ended up getting in the habit of leaving when, you know, I'm supposed to, um, you know, after the kids, the, the car riders, you know, are um, safely tucked away in their vehicles um, to go home. So that way, when I start the class, I can be, you know, at home as opposed to at school because we have to leave school at 630 if we do stay. So, you know, I still have another hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes of class, and I don't want to that deep into the class. I don't want to be in my car. Um, so I like to look at the slides, you know, that they're teaching from and all that type of stuff. And, you know, if I need to take notes or whatever, be able to do that. And I can't do that from the car. Um, so um, that's that. So today I ended up staying later because I had to um, get my spelling board up. Um, the deadline was today. So I had printed things out um, earlier today during, we had indoor recess today. Um, so during the, the breaks and, and recess, um, I was laminating and cutting things out. Um, and then after school, I stayed late so that I could put the um, magnetic tape on it um, on the pieces that I need to put on the board for the spelling wall and then um, some of the um, washi tape. I just use some regular black washi tape. So this is the first time that I've used washi tape. Now my sister is like an addict when it comes to, cause she's um, into planners um, and she also, um, you know, creates and sells planners. Um, so, you know, for her, like, you know, she is in love with washi tape. Like she has all kinds of washi tape and everything like that. So for a few years now, I've been familiar with it just from that standpoint. I know what it is because, you know, she uses it a lot. But this is literally my first time using it. So I just use regular black washi tape to separate um, the board that I was using into four spaces um, so that I can put the um, spelling um board up spelling wall up um so we have un prefixes and suffixes um un re less and ness so i had to separate it into four um, areas and then our spelling words for this cycle um, put those under there as examples and then i added some extra words um as examples um to those prefixes and suffixes so um you know, that's why I'm, I ended up being late today. Um, but getting back to it being the hundred, the hundredth day of school um, during my first year, um, like I said, I can't really get into the rah, 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 
you know, type thing because I'm so um, inundated with the things that I um, need to do. Um, now, thankfully, thank God that like the way my mind is set up, um, I can kind of, um, in, in the face of this overwhelming situation, um, not always feel overwhelmed. So I'm grateful for that. Um, you know, there are a lot of moving pieces right now in terms of what I need to do. And so um, if I got overwhelmed to the point where I couldn't um, like do the things that I need to do, it would be a problem <laughs> on, on a number of fronts. So um, that's that. So my thing is, you know, if, um, if I can get through this first year, which I know I can, um, I'm, I'm past the um, halfway mark because we're, you know, into third quarter. So I'm, I'm past the, the halfway mark. And so that's good. Um, and I feel okay about, you know, where I am so far. I'm not like, like super pleased with um, you know, everything that I have done or whatever. Um, but I feel like that's okay right now. <laughs> I, I'm okay with it right now just because um, trying to get in the flow, you know, and find my flow for different things and, um, you know, come up with my policies and procedures and, um, and policies and procedures. When I say that, meaning, um, things for me to do, not so much policies and procedures for the classroom, for the students, but, um, you know, different strategies, I guess is a better word in terms of how I want to execute different things. Um, you know, just trying to get in the flow and see what works best. So I feel like hopefully by the end of this year, I will be able to, um, I take notes as I go, you know, so that way I won't forget things. You know, I definitely use my planner. Um, if you look back at one of the earlier videos, I got a happy planner. Um, at first I started out with like a regular planner. Um, and then I decided, okay, it's my first year, you know, it's my first year as a teacher. So go ahead, you know, and get, I've seen everybody talking about happy planner, happy planner, happy planner. Um, so I looked at other planners as well, but I, you know, I, I kind of circled back to the happy planner. And so, you know, I, it's funny because at the beginning of the year, I didn't even start out using it. The first, um, I would say nine weeks, I didn't even use the planner just because I was so, it was just like so much. Um, I didn't really have the time to set it up to use it. Um, and that was the thing I had to figure out how to set it up and I just didn't have the time. Like I'm so just tired, like exhausted and all that. I, I just never had the time to sit down and say, okay, this is what I'm, this is how I'm going to use my planner. Um, so finally I was able to do that. And I was so glad that I was able to do that. Um, because it's really working for me now. Um, I've always, you know, like planners or writing things and I don't always, I didn't always use a planner, but like just getting the practice of like writing things down in terms of a to-do list and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I think that, and then of course the calendar portion of it, but I think that, um, you know, as a teacher, like it's essential, it's essential. Like I know for me, it's essential. Even just having that planner in front of me and I, you know, have it spread out to the week that, you know, I am working in every day. Um, and I write a lot of stuff in it and I've, you know, as, like I said, this is like the first few weeks of third quarter. So more and more ideas are coming to me in terms of how to use my planner. Um, even if it's just writing down recently, I think about two weeks ago, write down the students that are absent. That way I don't have to, you know, for each day on the planner off to the side, that way I don't have to go in the system and see when people were absent. Um, something that simple, it's just like, oh, you know, <laughs> and it's, it's so helpful, um, you know, when I have to go back and, and track different things, you know, whatever. Um, so that's something that came up within the last two weeks. 
and it's really been helping me. Um, you know, when somebody asks, oh, um, when was that person out or when was this person out or whatever. Um, another thing I keep in my planner is um, the note, the, like the doctor's notes um, um, or excuse notes or whatever like that that the students bring in. Um, I keep those in there so that way they're with me. Um, again, you know, things come up in terms of people's attendance and stuff like that. Um, and so one of the things that I need to um, get caught up on is <laughs> the communication log um, that, you know, is required for the school. So I want to do that within um, the, I would say by next week. I'll probably work on that by next, um, have that done hopefully by the end of next week. Um, next week is going to be a good week. So Monday we are off. Um, Tuesday, we have parent-teacher conferences, so we have an early dismissal. And Wednesday will be um, my only full day at work. And then Thursday and Friday, um, I will be off because I'm, I'm traveling to go support Malia um, at her conference um, track meet, conference championships. So... Um, looking forward to that trip um, there God dad um, is coming with us and um, so you know I know uh, Malia will be happy to see um, him as he will be extremely happy to see her so um, he will be at the meet with us and so um, I know Malia like I said will be excited just knowing that he's there <laughs> you know um, with us. I, I went to her last conference um, track meet um, and that's why she was a freshman so that was her first year of school her um, second year of school she sat out um, it was just like a lot of COVID <laughs> going on and um, a number of her teammates um, had COVID and she was in quarantine like um, I think it was like three times she had to be in quarantine um, because even her roommate um you know had gotten COVID or whatever and then you know um just in general everybody doesn't take things seriously the way you know you might and so um you know she ended up sitting out due to um due to you know that and so um thankfully she has you know uh an extra year uh which is it's really not extra but she has a, an additional year um, of eligibility to compete for NCAA. Um, so that's what, um, you know, she'll be doing. So she's a junior this year. So next year she'll be graduating. And, um, so we'll see, you know, what happens. She, you know, if the coach wants to keep her or whatever, um, for an extra year, you know, that may happen. Um, but you know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, um, that is that. So I am, uh, one of my, um, team teachers we were laughing in the hallway today because um, you know I told her I said oh my gosh I just realized like I've been going so much I didn't even look at next week didn't even pay att attention to next week until somebody said something about um, the 21st and how we'd be off and then I knew we had parent teacher conferences and an early dismissal on the 22nd um, and then you know I, I knew because I have been planning for the trip I had to get the hotel and stuff like that but I didn't put like all the pieces together, like all this was happening in the same week. <laughs> so um, I, we were laughing in the hallway because I said, oh my gosh, like that will get me through the rest of this week. Knowing like I have a short week next week will get me through the week. Just one full day. So technically I have like a day and a half. Tuesday, um, they the kids get out early and then Wednesday is the, the full day. And then Wednesday is like small groups. Um, so that's all I have. Um, I do have, um, um, what do you call it? Um, substitute um, plans, sub plans. So I do have those in place, but I think I want to add some things to it. So I'll probably do that. Um, but I'll be taking my computer and everything with me because I'm sure I'll be doing some, some work um, while I'm gone, depending on how much time we have like in the hotel um, compared to, you know, um, the time that we have to be at the meet. Of course, those meets can be kind of long. 
but um we'll have to see like when malia runs to determine like when like what time will show up um at the facility but anyway um so yes that is the synopsis of my uh, I guess how I feel about the hundred days, the first hundred days of school that I uh, will experience as a new teacher. Um, like I said, hopefully next year I'll be able to celebrate it a little bo a little more. You know, maybe get a shirt, um, maybe do a little something for the kids, um, for the students. I don't know, but we shall see. So that will be the end of this video. Um, if you stay to the end, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I know it's getting dark, y'all. It's evening time. Um, it's like six o'clock now. Um, so I'm gonna have to go ahead. I mean, yeah, technically I could have um, turned on the light here. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you um, would like to share this video, maybe you know some first year teachers, please go ahead and do so. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see the other videos um, that I put out about uh, my teaching journey. Um, you can also hit the notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you will be amongst the first to know. So um, you guys have an amazing week. Uh, the rest of your week we have thursday and friday to go um i do tomorrow have um tomorrow i have my uh, middle of the year conference so that will be a conversation um after tomorrow <laughs> all right tomorrow morning i have my middle of the year conference so um i will check back in with you tomorrow and tell you all about it i'll see you in the next video bye bye